the Australian coastline. So majestic. So beautiful. So polluted. Plastic bags are everywhere. <laughs> Six billion plastic bags used annually in Australia. Well, the biggest issue for, for plastic pollution is that it takes so long to break down or doesn't break down at all. So it's an accumulative waste rather than a waste that you have to deal with over a, you know, some uh, understandable period. 7,150 plastic bags have been put into landfills since I began this sentence. Oh. My name's Anthony Mewitt. I guess for the last 17 years I've been doing environmental science and uh, in a variety of capacities. Oh, look at that. Happy days. You know, I think you heard me talk on the on the ferry yesterday on the on the whale watching boat. Is that, you know, constantly you'll see bins that are overflowing with rubbish and people just putting rubbish on top of it, full bins. So plastic, I mean, it comes in many forms, uh, from soft plastic to hard plastic uh, to monofilament line, all those sort of things. Um, we've I've had I've had birds with their beaks. Uh, fully encapsulated from plastic where they can't open their beak. It cut open numerous uh, turtles and such that have had uh, plastic in their guts and that have died as a result of plastic ingestion. So. You can see fish and uh, the biggest thing I've seen is turtles when they'll go for plastic bags actually. So sea turtles eat jellyfish and it's in every aquarium I think I've ever been to. It's all over Facebook and the internet where it's like would you confuse this for this where it has a picture of a jellyfish and a picture of just a plastic bag floating in the ocean. And I've even been out on dives and seen plastic bags thinking initially that they were jellyfish. Seeing fish like stuck underneath like heavy plastics that have weighed them down. You can kind of see it there, it's littered everywhere I've been out and you come back, handfuls of rubbish. But I've even found plastic bags out there that I've used to collect more rubbish. Particularly with animals such as marine mammals, where there's high lipid content such as fats, with uh, you know whales, dolphins, seals, that sort of stuff, is uh, they can be, become highly toxic. So next somewhere over in Canada, there's actually a species of orca over there from the blubber samples they've taken and uh, the biopsies that they've got off those animals, they are classified as uh, toxic waste. This is having a pretty severe impact on our pretty coastlines. So what can we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? try to do some um, cleanup like maybe four times a year. Everyone can be part of it. So we of course looking from divers, but we do get um, some free divers coming, also some swimmers, but also some people just like walking on the beach and picking up rubbish on the beach. We're gonna put some of the tubs there along the beach line here. It's as important to pick up the rubbish before they get into the ocean. I'm have actually been chopped up um, by the tractor that comes and cleans in the morning. So we're just finding all these little bits here at the moment. So it looks like there's nothing on the beach, but there actually is Underneath. a piece of So it feels like we can see like people start to be aware of the plastic problem. I could be doing better, being more conscious all the time of opportunities for not dealing with plastic in the first place. So using recyclable materials up front. When I go shopping, I grab my own bags before I go shopping and I never take plastic bags from the shops. We so, use the boxes. Yeah, we yeah, use boxes. We so we use yeah. boxes of plastic bags. I try and live by example, try and minimise you know, uh, my use, try and I pick up rubbish wherever I go. You go out, you order a drink, then you go to put a straw in, I don't want that straw, or take your own cup out instead, or I'll take a, a, like a backpack or something with you to the shops and use that instead of the single-use plastic bag. I mean, if you do have plastic, use it for a variety of things that they're going to maximise the use of that bag. You know, like plastic is, is a, it's a very useful, useful tool. I guess the problem is we've become so complacent with it, and that's the issue. Well, I live... Uh just outside the ACT, which has been plastic bags, and it's widely supported. And I think most people I know strongly and widely support a plastic ban bag in New South Wales. And we've seen the first moves by uh, large business enterprises in New South Wales to do that. Some large supermarket chains have done that. So that's a great thing. If, if it's community and industry-led, 
then governments will follow. That's the best way to do public policy. Like in France, we don't get plastic bags, so wherever you go for shopping, you won't get any bag. So I think it's time for Australia to do the same.